Hey guys, how are you today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. If not, I hope this makes it better. <laughs> So today I am continuing my series of my makeup lookbook of looks that you can turn to throughout the week, seven days a week, add to your makeup arsenal like, hey, this is an, another way of doing a monochromatic look that goes with so many things for so many occasions, different lifestyles, if you go to work, if you stay at home. This is just one of those things that I think can work for pretty much everybody. So if you're interested in how I got this look, definitely keep watching. And if you like it, give me a like so that I can know. And if you have any questions or if you're into this, please drop a comment below and let me know if you are gonna try this out. So yeah, let's just jump right in. Okay, okay I'm so stoked because I'm gonna use a new palette today and it's something I did not think I would be into at all. But when I was in Sephora just a couple of days ago, of course, around like the aisle of the checkout, I saw this beautiful little thing. It's I Love Sarai with Dose of Color. So Dose of Colors is the cosmetic brand and I Love Sarai is a YouTuber, Instagrammer girl that does makeup. She's really beautiful. Anyway, so I swatched this. Oh my. Oh, ooh. I swatched this and I fell in love. <laughs> We're gonna stick to these ones today and just have like a fun peachy look that's just an easy go-to look to add to our series so that we have more fun makeup looks to add to our arsenal. So let's get to it. So as is customary here, I'm gonna let you know what I prep my face with because I just think that is so helpful and it kind of drives me crazy in so many other YouTube tutorials when they don't tell you. So this is the Belief The True Cream Aqua Bomb. I'm gonna just launch right into the face and use the Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick in the shade 120 or Y245. Full coverage face from Bobbi Brown. It's just velvet heaven. It blends and buffs things excellently. I just love it so much. So I take my stick and I just go like this. I do it this way to make sure I don't put too much on my face. I, I used to love going like this because I love stick foundation. I'm just going to start evening things out a little bit. Just a light layer for us ladies that are trying to just get our face on for the day and not take five ever. <laughs> So we're gonna flip to drugstore right now, which might make some of you happy. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, and this is in the shade Light. I've been using Tarte Shape Tape forever, this one here, this one. But um, it's just really, really heavy and a little cakey for me, and so it's kind of been bothering me, and so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go back to trying a drugstore concealer. Even though I am putting like, essentially a thick layer, it feels light. And I found that when I did that and just was really generous, um, and not only did such a good job covering my under eyes, it's just such a perfect shade for me, um, it just set in place really well. Like I'm so impressed, I'm so pleased, cause well, it's only like under 10 bucks. And then I go in with my sponge. This is dampened so it is expanded and it's just like barely, barely wet. And I'm using it as well to set my eye. And see it neutralized my veins instantly. It's a good canvas. It is like cohesive with the rest of my face. So it's, it's perfect for priming that lid. Base is nearly done. We're just gonna set everything in place and then we're gonna get to the fun stuff. I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder to set my under eyes only. This is made specifically for the under eyes. So I, again, as usual, I am just pressing that in. Okay, then I'm using my Cover FX. Sorry, there's like eyelash glue and I just haven't taken it off yet. Uh, the Perfect Setting Powder in Translucent Light. I really like the packaging that it seals the deal in there so it does not make a mess so it's really travel friendly this is a really good velvety powder i really like it it doesn't feel drying on the face it doesn't feel gritty and talky and it also looks amazing so i just put a very light layer everywhere and it's not like super deadening like you know some powders can be so mattifying that they're just like oh that just like killed the life out of everything see how my nose, I'm powdering it, but it still has some life coming through. Like it doesn't look totally flat. Just recently, brands are coming out with matte foundations that are meant to look natural and breathable, but still nonetheless matte. And so I'm like, huh, 
I wonder if that's going to be like the new thing you know coming this fall and stuff. I'm going to grab a little bit more of that cover effects powder and just set hold on uh, set my eyes just a little bit I also need to pluck my eyebrows so bad but I cannot be bothered right now. now I'm going to grab one of my favorite brushes of all time I've had this for over 10 years it's still in excellent condition I love it so much Bare Minerals did such a good job on these brushes uh, this is the full flawless face brush. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade 20M. This is a really, really gorgeous soft bronzer. It has a really unique gel formula, so it blends in really well. Like, look at that. Boom. Minimal effort, man. Mm, mm. Get that dimension back after evening things out on the face. Even though you can still see freckles and stuff, it still just looks so much more soft and even. I really like Makeup Forever. Like, I love this foundation. I love this bronzer. Really, really enjoy this brand. I love that the founder, um, I'm not sure exactly what she'd be considered because I think she's still the boss of everything. But uh, Dani. She is a French woman from France. She's got awesome red hair with a beautiful thick accent and she's super artistic. She started out as a painter. So I'm gonna pinch this brush and just do the sides of my nose here to add that color to the center of my face. And I'm just going along the bone structure just like I did with my cheeks. Love how undetectable this powder is it like doesn't behave like a powder at all but it's not slippy like a cream it's just so good bronzing up okay i'm really pleased with my base here y'all just said y'all i'm gonna save the blush and highlighting to the end because i want to match that to what happens on my eyes so i'm gonna do my eyebrows i'm sorry i've been using the lid as my like little my like painting palette. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Ash Brown. I love the shade so much. Oh, and I finally booked an appointment to get my eyebrows microbladed. Can you believe it? I'm so excited. Okay, we got some bold mofos today. It's all right, sometimes you want to bold. Just roll with it. I'm gonna move on, I'm gonna get to the fun part with the eyeshadows. Okay, let's do that. So let's start with this shade here, what's it called? Uh, why can't they ever put the name on the front? I think this one is called Loungy. I'm gonna use my favorite crease brush. This is from Sephora. It's just called the 230 crease brush, but they don't have this one anymore, which makes me so sad because it was just, oh, hello. It was, it, it's just such a fantastic brush. Oh, this is going on wonderfully. It's not kicking up a bunch of dust. It's creamy, it's pigmented. It's not streaky. It's like all solid wherever I put it. Yes, yes. So I'm gonna buff that everywhere in the crease. And soften those edges. Oh my gosh, I have to pluck. I'm definitely an eye person. Like I'm appreciating face makeup more and more because I only started wearing foundation at about two years ago, I think. After having Yvette, I never used to wear anything and I also didn't used to have sunspots and broken veins on my face. Like my skin has changed, which is kind of a bummer. I think I will forever be an eye makeup person. I love putting color on and shimmer and brightness is just my happy place. I love it so much. And it's, I feel like it's where I can be really my artistic self, you know? I take this little brush that is like a bullet brush. It's the E18 by Morphe. I'm gonna add that same color underneath and just marry that in the outer corner. So this kind of eyeshadow look will be really quick 
You're just buffing it into the crease, slapping it on the lower lash line. If something is really easy to work with, it is faster to work with. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of the reasons why I love high-end makeup is that it just works really well for me personally. That's just been my experience with it. I'm gonna use a flat brush. This is the MAC 242. 242, hot, hot. I always think of football when I say 242. I don't really know why. I'm gonna take this shade here. Uh, what's it called? I think it's called Wanderlust, which mama definitely has that. So I'm just gonna pack this all over the lid. Okay, yeah, yeah, so far so good. Yeah, yeah. And these colors would look bomb on blue eyes and green eyes. Honestly, every color, this is just, these ready kind of terracotta undertones really bring out a lot of colors in eyes. Like I can't think of a color that this wouldn't like emphasize. So I'm stopping when I get to my crease line, making sure to hug my roots, not leave any gaps in there. That's always important, always, always. I'm stopping here. So I'm taking a, slowing down for a second to kind of get in here. And then I will just buff that out really quick in a second. Just gotta make sure I get this color on nice and solid first. Really like that the, the shades, but that crease line needs some work. So I'm actually gonna take my crease brush and add a little bit of Wanderlust, the darker shade, and I'm going to just buff that into the crease a little bit. Really, really low, but I think I need to do that with the darker color to make sure it has a smooth transition. There we go, I just needed to do that. I just needed to take some of the darker color and buff it in. Now it's that nice gradient. Yes. I'm gonna go back into Wanderlust with the smaller version of that bullet. It's the E36. It's more pointed and small. I really like to use it to get the lower lash line with like the outer corner if I just want to add just a darker shade. So I'm only adding it to the outer corner and then I'm meeting up with that, cor that color up here just to add that definition like like that, you know, instead of leaving it only on the lid. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Poquito Mask, this one right here, and do some highlighting. And use the detailer brush from Real Techniques, nice and affordable. Gonna dent in here and brighten up the inner corner. And take some Fix Plus and spray my brush. Ah, oh, this is kind of a unique color. So let's do the under eyes here. Ugh, what am I saying? The brow bone. I'm sticking to kind of here and then I'm gonna gradate it in and then down. I'm gonna throw on some mascara and eyelashes. Let's do that and just wrap up the eyes. Wrap it up. This was the MAC mascara. I love the formula. I don't like the brush head because I always poke myself in the eye. So yeah. I'm gonna put on my favorite lashes. These are Lily Lashes in the style Ash K Home. I've used them over 10 times now. They still look great. <laughs> I love his jibber jabber. Oh, oh, he's getting sad. Oh, yes. <laughs> I just love these lashes so much. They're so pretty. I'm definitely gonna pluck before we wrap things up because again this is one of those detail steps that makes a nice difference but if you don't feel like it's necessary just don't worry about it and you can see it kind of added that density a little bit i think i'm just going to go for mac melba this is just a matte straightforward powder blush i'm going to use my japanesque powder brush I will say it did shed a lot when i first got it but now it kind of has eased off and doesn't do it as much. I'm gonna stick to the apples of my cheeks. There we go. I feel like I really needed that flush on my cheeks to kind of marry the eyes together, just kind of have that monochromatic look. I like that. 
It's just a great blush to have on hand. You could use that same one all week because it just is so neutral and goes with everything. So that's really good for this kind of series too. Holy. I think I'm gonna have a little fun with my glow today. I'm gonna to do the Opal Glow from Bobbi Brown. This was limited edition um, 2017, so last Christmas, but then they brought it back this year, I think because so many people loved it so much. So it's that like pinky, iridescent, kind of peachy highlight. Well, let's just have a little fun with that today. Oh yeah, look at that, isn't that fun? It's soft. It's not like super frosty, you know? Oof. Love that. Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna bring it down the bridge of my nose because I think it's fun to add some luminosity there and just a little to the tip, like the top tip, not like down here, but like there, you know? Just to go along with the brow bone. So if you think about it, that whole bone is like all here. It doesn't just stop here. It's just the it's just the brow hairs that kind of interrupt that that um, bone. So I'm deciding between two Bite Beauty stick lipsticks. I love these. These are called the Matte Creme Le Crayon. They're so mm, I love them. They're a creamy matte that stays in place. Smells like fruit oils. These can do no wrong in my opinion. So I'm deciding between. Amaretto or Cafe. You can see that it's actually quite a big difference. Yeah, that's quite pinky. That's more brownie. Let's do, yeah, Amaretto. Don't need a lip liner. It's plenty of pigment and it just really is so creamy. It just fills out those edges really well. Man, do you see yourself? <laughs> You're so handsome. My squishy boy. My squishy boy. Sorry, my baby's playing with the toy. It's a little noisy, but I'm not gonna take it away from him because he's happy. So I hope you like this look. I hope this is yet another look that you can add to your makeup arsenal and just tuck that away for a time that this works for you. It's really straightforward. Again, I know it kind of goes without saying, but you can add the lashes, take them away, add something else, add a wing, like do whatever, but I hope this still gives you an idea of a look that is just easy to go with pretty much anything and that it works for you. So yeah, I am so grateful that you were here today. Thank you so much for watching and being with me. I'm so thankful. I'm grateful that you chose to be here, but if you did like being here, I would love for you to subscribe. Hey, I, the more friends that I can make love doing this stuff, the better. And that is really, is just like the best thing ever for me. So anyways, I will see you next time and we'll continue enjoying this series and I'll talk to you later. Bye.